All right, everyone. It's about 12 o'clock. We're ready to get started here. I'd like to wait a few minutes just for any last-minute stragglers that might come in, okay? So there's coffee and donuts at the back of the room if you want to indulge. All right. Just about two minutes before we start. And I want to thank everyone for being here. Let me thank you. Appreciate the Attendance, nice gathering here. About one more minute and we will get started. One more minute. People are slowly coming in. If anyone traded today, I'm going to show you the results we had in the in the live room. It was incredible today, just incredible. All right, the time is now 12:02. Let's get started. We were generous to give a little time for anyone that might be late. My name is Martin Rhymes. We're going to talk about exploring market linkage and correlations. All right, now. This presentation today is not a typical presentation where you will immediately walk away and say, hey, I've got something I can trade. This is like an election day discussion on trading, okay? Um, I don't want to give you a precise trading strategy in as much as give you information about market linkages and correlations that you should be aware of if you desire to be more of an all-encompassing market view trader okay so it's a little bit of a um, trying to teach you cunning trying to just share with you what I have gained over the years before we begin let's remember we're all adults here Trading financial instruments using contract stocks or options is extremely risky. Only trade with money you can afford to lose. Past results do not guarantee future results. Please consult a licensed professional prior to trading using any real money. I am not a licensed professional. Paper trade to learn any new concepts. Paper trade regardless of your level of expertise. And remember... You are the trader in command, so prepare yourself. Now, a little bit about me. I've been trading for 25 years, off and on, different instruments. <clears throat> in 2008, I launched this teaching newsletter called Hit the Mark Trading. And a few years ago, my clients wanted me to do a nightly video format. So I do this Monday through Thursday and then the weekend. Four times a year, I will hold a total immersion intensive boot camp, and that's for position trading. It'll touch a little on day trading, but it's primarily for folks interested in position trading. So, for example, um, we recently took a trade in natural gas. We recently took a, a trade in coffee. The coffee trade, some have runners. Right now, it looks as though the Japanese yen is about ready for a position trade to go short. We have our line in the sand drawn there. Um, in 2015, I released this just day trade. Now, this is intensive total immersion day trading only. And it is absolutely everything I wish that someone would have shown me when I first started. Um, 
in this year, I've released the Rhymes Range Bar Sniper Package with Agena. Very proud of it. Very proud of working with this group. Everything that I present, the strategy is incredibly robust in that it will work on stocks, options, bonds, futures, forex, you name it. The criteria is we must have some momentum. I've got various indicators experience. I've spoken at trading conferences and provided numerous webinars for traders promoting a relaxed, simplified style of trading. And I've uh, included, uh, I've spoken before the ICE and the CMA. So this is what I look like. This is who's talking to you right now. And this is my trading room at the house. Okay. I want to take one second and tell you if you want something free, go to the website, hit the marktrading.com, sign up for Rooster Call. Now, I get up early, I read the news, the fundamental news, I look at the charts. It takes me about an hour to an hour and a half to write what will take you about three minutes to read. It's a trader's perspective of what's going on. So if you're interested in that, sign up. There's no credit card required, nothing. Um, we're almost ready to get started. The boot camp, I just held one. The next one will probably be in 2017, about four a year. Um, I have recordings, just like being there. And if you are a day trader, wow, this has been a very successful course. People love it. So I'm going to show you the concepts taught in the Just Day Trade, okay? This is today's trading, all right? Now, take out the uh, $80 and the 70 Take that out. That's left over from yesterday. And you see that we had an incredible day here. Now, these are simulated results, but I show my results. So the key on this one, the runner, working with the runner. In my own tr in my own trading, because it's election day, I got about uh, a third of what this thing did. Okay, but um, that's hey, that's fine. I'm totally happy. But what we do is, I use this uh, Gina platform, and and it proves that by using our techniques over and over again and using the trailing stop we can achieve runners as long as what as long as we have momentum that's the key now everything we do we look at charts in an all-encompassing point of view price action price oscillator and linkage between the markets this is how we trade and we're here to discuss linkage and correlations right now uh, before I forget, let me thank Agena Trader for hosting this event. I certainly appreciate their commitment to trader education. Now, I don't think we're going to have a long discussion today. I think this is going to be probably about 30 minutes. Um, basically, if we believe that price action is simply the representation of mass trader psychology, then what we're really talking about is herd behavior, okay? Crowd behavior. I call it herd behavior. So linkage and correlations in tradings, in other words, two instruments that act similar in movement at the same time, or two instruments that act dissimilar at the same time, right? Linkage and correlation in trading, they are paradigms. What is a paradigm? A strongly held belief system. All of this started, what I'm going to show you, all of this started way back when, decades ago, with floor traders. And now it's been transferred to the algorithms. So, we take an omni view encompassing all that can affect trading, all right? We strive for awareness. 
If the crowd is likely to move, we want to know. If the crowd is likely to move, we want to know. And we understand if an action repeats or if the crowd repeats their re behavior that we can trade this. Now, why on earth should you be concerned? Well, if the market presents you a technical reason for taking a trade, and then you see strong correlation as a supporting pillar, then we infer that the, we, you know, we've got the wind in our sail helping us. So it leads to a feeling of, of greater confidence that, hey, yes, I'm glad I'm in this trade. I've got my technical analysis says yes, I've got this saying yes, and my goodness, correlation is working for me as well. Okay, so while we the mantra here in trading is anything can happen. Our brain intuits a higher degree of follow through is possible. All because we see the relationship over and over and over again. This is called adding confidence, a quiet confidence to your trading. You got to understand something about me if you've never heard me speak before. I believe that you should become your own expert. That's my job, helping you become your own expert so that you don't need to watch the television and hear somebody wearing a suit and a tie tell you what's going to happen. Those people typically have an agenda. Now, getting back to our discussion, always remember that we are talking about crowd behavior. Crowd behavior is the basis of market linkage and correlation as well as seasonal tendency. Everybody doing the same thing at the same time. There, I swear, some of these seasonal tendencies, you would think people are investing according to the calendar. But we're here to talk about linkage and correlation right now. So let's review the strongest correlation in 2016, crude and equity index trading. All right. What I've done here, and, and by the way, if you're looking for this tool, this is a, a tool in, in beta from Agena. I've asked for this tool, and they are probably going to release this around February. But what it allows me to do, it allows me to overlay one instrument on top of another. Okay, Very, very, very nice feature to have. Let me get my spotlight. Okay, so what we're looking at in the price, this is a 30-minute bar. My gosh, I'm going way back into October. 30-minute price bar, this is the ES, okay? The ES, green and red. I know it's small, but I want to crowd in a lot of days. The overlay on this 30-minute chart is crude. So what you see, crude goes down, ES goes down. Crude goes up, ES goes up. Crude goes down, ES goes down. I've got some alarm going. Okay. Now, crude goes up, ES goes up. Crude goes down, ES goes down. This is amazing. This is just amazing. How about a 15-minute chart? A 15-minute chart. Let me make sure you're seeing what I'm seeing. Yes, okay. Here we've got crew goes up, and the next thing you know, the market absolutely gaps higher. 15-minute chart. Crude goes down, the ES goes down. Now, ES went ahead and, uh, yes, we get these periods of, of non-correlation, but quite honestly, the correlation has been 95% for day trading. It has just been the strongest correlation I have ever seen in trading for day trading, okay? So here we got crude. I've put the vertical line showing we're going to go down, and by golly, ES says, I can't do it. I'm going down too. Crude comes up, ES, that's the signal. I'm going up, okay? Now, we, we peek out, 
crude goes down, what happens to the ES? We go down. Okay. Let's go to a five-minute chart. I'm going all the way into October here. So, again, we've got the ES, a five-minute chart, and I've overlaid the crude. Now, all I want you to see is that when the crude falls, the ES falls, okay? The crude falls and it leads and the ES falls, right? We see it over and over and over again. Ah, a one-minute chart. Now, what are we looking at? We see crude moves up, it takes ES higher. Notice higher lows. What's going on over here? Higher lows. Suddenly crude says, we're done, going down, and by golly, the ES goes down. Now you've got to understand the ES is the boss of all the equity index futures. Okay? The one-minute chart. So, what I tell people in the in the trade room that that I hold, we can have the most beautiful setup in the ES or the NQ or the Russell two thousand or the YM, but if the crude goes against the trade, I guarantee we are going to lose. Unless, in that one instance, it's going to be uh, where the correlation, you know, they decouple. So, therefore, as I say over here, if I trade ES or any equity index futures, I must watch crude. I must. There is no choice because the, the correlation has been in 2016 absolutely incredible, the highest I've ever seen, and it's something like 95%, okay? Now, this is called a positive correlation. When we've got one instrument moving up and another one moves with it, seemingly uncorrelated, right? Negative correlation is when one instrument moves up and the other moves down. Let's talk about that. This is the, uh, I think my slide's right here. Yeah, negative correlation. If you spot the action, Remember, in everything we're talking about here, if you spot the action, you feel better about a trade that you intuitively and technically feel should work. And this, we expect to provide greater follow-through. That's what we're looking at here. So, if I'm going to trade gold, what could help me? How about knowing what the U.S. dollar is doing? And I realize some of you may know these correlations. I'm going to go through a lot of them, but I just want to show you these charts to demonstrate what is negative correlation and what is positive correlation. So the crude was positive correlation. Here's negative. And what, what we're basically saying here is that if we see the U.S. dollar go down, we typically see crude uh, gold move higher. Dollar go up, gold down. Dollar go down, gold up. Okay? Dollar go up, gold down. Dollar go down, gold up. Now, this is interesting here, right? Because now we start a run. What is a run? That, that business of higher lows. Now, we're being told, without any type of technical analysis whatsoever, that we should have the opinion that gold is going to fall. 
without any type of charting whatsoever other than seeing okay if the dollar's rising I know gold is falling and for me this is incredible this is all crowd behavior this is why it works it's one more benchmark to how the markets are fixed I don't mean mean fixed in a negative sense I mean fixed in that if you look closely enough you can find the benchmarks you can find what other people are looking at and what we know about the US dollar is more often than not as the US dollar rises it has a tendency to cause physical commodities that are traded in dollars to go lower okay but this relationship between gold and US dollar is quite strong now the only time we would expect to see this broken is if there is a geopolitical event and gold will move higher on a geopolitical event such as uh, I don't know Russia invading uh, Ukraine right um, fear about uh, the incumbent party not winning um, but but the main thing is look for these correlations okay look for them and this is a daily chart yes you can drill this down to a minute chart or a five minute chart absolutely absolutely okay now let me go through my list here you know I'm a firm believer in patterns I think there's patterns in everything Fibonacci taught us that but there are patterns in everything and this is part of the pattern of trading and crowd behavior okay anytime you have a large number of people doing the exact same thing in the exact same manner right from the same stimuli then we have that strong belief system so let me just I'm gonna just go through some and you can write these down if you're interested in it otherwise you can say well okay that's not going to immediately help me in my trading well look I'm trying to build expand your trading mind here so we talked about this US dollar if the US dollar moves higher what does that do to the US grain market it means that the US grain market someone can buy their grain either from Brazil for soybeans or, or or corn if the US dollar is moving higher chances are the US grains are going to go lower because suddenly the Brazilian corn the Brazilian soybeans the Argentinian soybeans are cheaper so just understand that if you see the dollar fall it tends to help the US grain market if you see the dollar rise unless there is a fundamental supply problem or some huge huge demand that suddenly enters you're going to see this correlation play out what else it is so common to see the US dollar fall and copper absolutely shoot higher why is that well the Chinese are buying like I don't know 60 percent of the world's copper so they can buy it cheaper if the US dollar is falling uh, consequently another correlation is economic reports on copper if the Chinese show poor industrial production poor exports poor imports you know I say worse than expected that will typically knock down copper and the US dollar now what about silver well silver follows gold more often than not they ride in the same car what about 
the Brazilian real. Yeah, if the Brazilian real is falling, then that makes the grains in Brazil more competitive. Coffee tends to rise with the Brazilian real unless there is some type of a supply problem or perceived problem and then coffee will rise on its own. That's fine. What about bonds and stocks? That's one of the oldest correlations. Stocks fall, people buy bonds. What about bonds and economic reports? If we find an economic report comes out better than expected on the US economy or on the employment situation or on the uh, if not as many people make initial unemployment claims, this tends to make bonds fall. If the economic reports are uh, really lousy, bonds move higher, okay? Now the US dollar and the euro has a negative correlation exactly like gold and US dollar. It's, with the US dollar and the euro, it's like a seesaw. So if there's a report that is good for the USA, an economic report, well, that's bad for the euro. If there's a report that's really good for the euro, well, you're going to see the dollar go down and the euro go higher. Okay? What about the lower yen. What does the lower yen do? The lower yen always makes the Nikkei 225 rise. What does a lower euro do? More often than not, it makes the DAX rise. And if the DAX rise, the stocks 50 will rise. What if I want to look at the market and say, what, what can tell me if we're risk on or risk off? Well, what I used to do is compare the ETF of junk bonds, called JNK, to the Russell 2000. It's a beautiful positive correlation. All right. Canadian dollar. A lot of times the Canadian dollar moves with crude. Why is that? Because Canada is a commodity country, and they move crude. Australia is considered a commodity country. Their number one client. Absolutely. China. China does well. Australian economy does well. End of story. People forget that in Australia, there's, there's, listen, there's more people in New York City metro area than the whole country of Australia, right? So it's a, it's a commodity country, and their client, their number one customer is China. All right. Now, I don't know if any of you have any of these correlations you've spotted on your own or you'd like to ask me about, but I just wanted to share this with you because I think it can help your trading. At least, I think it can help you um, when you spot a trade and you say, okay, I think I want to take the trade, but for some lingering reason you're not sure, um, then you look at the correlation and say, okay, yeah, yeah. This makes sense. I want to do it. Okay, I promised you a short webinar. We've gone about 30 minutes here. Does anyone have any questions on anything that I have presented? Anything, any questions whatsoever? When will the Agena Trader add-on be available? Where can I get it? Um... We have it available. It is going to be, I think that they're going to start uh, uh, sending something out tomorrow on it. I, on my side, have to get some information to them, just some descriptive. I'm going to do that today. But beyond that, it is available. It's absolutely available. It's a rent deal, okay? So you, you have to find out where the... Uh, 
on the website it's rent to to use okay mark so you've been looking for that feature as well yeah um, I can't seem to dismiss this off my chart I love correlation I love it is there a possibility to calculate a correlation that includes a phase shift between the two instruments a phase shift between the two instruments I'm sure there is I'm 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 not aware of how to do that but I'm sure there is okay any any questions any other questions any questions do you find this information useful look like something that you could um, could benefit your trading I, I, I love it good good thanks thanks Bob all right so this is just you know one of the approach okay glad to hear that Eugene one of the just just one of the approaches that I use and um, let me get rid of this stuff. I try to be, I try to be very, uh, I don't know, I try to, it, it's like a symphony. Got a lot of different instruments playing to make a great tune. And I, I, that's the way that we approach the market as well. So sometimes, you know, it's like, why is this moving like this? And then you say, oh my gosh, look the euros flying or something like that I tend to I believe that in, at night the DAX controls the market and I believe in the daytime as soon as the US trading starts everybody falls in line behind the ES and I've seen it too many times where the DAX can be a big red day and then we get the US open and it's a big green day in the US and you look over the DAX and the DAX rose so um, this is all the the reason this works the reason it's fixed like this is because the machines are fixing these anchors these market anchors okay so I didn't want to take too much time I know your time is very valuable and I just wanted to share this with you we'll be having some more webinars on um, I think uh, Lyndon couldn't once say that the ES is boss over CL. I really don't. I don't believe that. And 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 the reason is, for example, in these charts that I showed earlier. Let me find this. I mean, it just seems like the turns happen. The turns happen on the crude a little bit earlier. Now, Lyndon, if you take a one-minute chart, now I, I love the range bar chart. Gina really got into range bars when they started working with me, and I'm really happy about that because I, I think range bars are, are are good for everyone to look at. Kind of, you know, it it kind of tells us, hey, the market's really ready to do something. Well, when when we're looking at these range bars or even if you break it down to a one minute chart and you see that my gosh is the ES ever gonna move and then it looks as if it was simply waiting for crude to make a statement now we had something very interesting occur today we were looking for something called I think it was market structure but we were looking at that today and I said, now yesterday they moved this thing at 1043. So chances are because, oh, I know what it was. It was a failure swing. I said, so chances are we're getting a setup for a counter trend trade. Chances are they're going to take it up again. And then the question is, well, why do they do that? And, and I tell people, you've got to dumb down your trading. They do it because they did it the day before. So right 
off the bat at 1046, we're in a crude trade. Now we knew that 4460 was a line in the sand. We knew that we'd overcome 4460. And we now have a signal that says we're going to go higher. And my gosh, how is it? It's close to the same time they did it before, right? So a lot of retail traders, they, they make the trading so complex, so many decision points. And we're back here saying, okay, well, we got a signal. Looks like it yesterday. They did this at 1043, and we're getting the signal saying get ready to take a trade. And after we're in it, and after everything's said and done, I look at the clock and I say, my gosh, it's 1046. Is that a coincidence? But really, you got to dumb down the trading. Follow the price action. Some people I know will trade. Um, I mean, you could, if you're following gold, you could certainly put an overlay of the U.S. dollar on it while you're trading gold. Why not? And like I said, we'll get the best signal, the best signal, and maybe we're in the NQ. And, and I tell people, now look, let's have an understanding. Here's something I guarantee. If crude turns, we're going to lose on this trade. I've never, ever had to say that before. And that's how strong the correlation is. Because they, the, the, the machines are attached to it. And of course, all the equity index futures, the U.S. equity index futures, have extremely high correlation. That's discussed in the course. Okay. Anything else I can help you with today? Anything at all? Anything at all I can help you with? All right. I really appreciate your time. Um, just wanted to present this short idea that Mike can help you. This overlay tool uh, by Gina, uh, it's, it's a great tool. It's in development. Beta, what do they call it? They're going to release this in uh, February. They're going to release this in February. Okay, thank you, Scott. All right, well, I will talk to you later, and I appreciate everyone being here. Thanks again to Gina Trader for supporting this trader education session. I love talking to traders. That's why I do this. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye now. You're welcome, Eugene.